this last little bit. It says it's a list of acids commonly used in chemistry. It'd be to your advantage to learn them. And we're going to take some notes on how you'd be able to solve for what these formulas would be. So rather than trying to straight up memorize these six acids, if you try to memorize it, you're probably going to goof it up because the number of hydrogens vary per acid, right? That hydrochloric only has one hydrogen. This one has two. Nitric only has one. This one has three. Then we're back to one. Now we're two. It seems to be all over the place. But what I'm going to do is show you a pattern on how to solve for them. And then once you know what that pattern is, you can know all of the acids off the top of your head. So there is one of these six that I would like you to just straight up memorize. And that's the hydrochloric is HCl. That one needs some memorization. The other five acids that we're gonna use in this class all follow the same pattern when writing their chemical formulas. Are there other acids out there? Absolutely, but these are just the only five that we're gonna use in this class. So how would you know, for example, for sulfuric acid, that it's H2SO4, where nitric acid is just HNO3? Well, there's a funny little um, expression to help you figure this out. If you look at all the chemical formulas, they're all this ick, 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 right? If you look at the non-hydrogen part of each acid, so for that sulfuric acid, if we look at the SO4 part, or for nitric acid, look at NO3. For phosphoric, look at PO4. If you focus on that component of the acid molecule, um, SO4, when you look up, for example, what SO4 is called on your ion sheet, SO4 is down here. SO4 is called sulfate. So that's sulfate. Or if you look up what the NO3 is called NO3, nitrate, right here. Nitrate, right there, NO3, minus charge. So nitrate. So nitrate has a negative one charge and sulfate has a negative two charge. If you look up these other ones, PO4 is phosphate, C2H3O2, acetate, and then carbonate. They're all eight. And then they're all, they turn into X. So the funny little phrase to help you remember, you ate something icky. So what you're gonna do for each of these is take hydrogen in its ion form. If hydrogen were to form an ion, hydrogen would form a plus one charge, just like all the other alkali metals. That's one of the reasons we have hydrogen over there in that column. So if hydrogen were to form a positive one charge, and then we combine that hydrogen ion with an eight ion. So you combine hydrogen with sulfate and you balance out the charges like you normally would. H plus one with sulfate minus two, that would be H2SO4. Or if we have nitric acid, nitric kind of sounds like nitrate, so we would combine hydrogen plus one with nitrate minus one. So it's just HNO3. All of these are just hydrogen with the eight ion. It kind of sounds like. So phosphoric kind of sounds like phosphate. 
if you combine hydrogen with phosphate, phosphate is PO4 with a negative 3 charge. So H3PO4. So if you can remember this funny little phrase, you ate something icky. Your acids always start with hydrogen. So you're just combining the hydrogen ion with the eight ion that it kind of sounds like. Balance your charges like normal and you'll be able to solve for five of those six acids. If you tried to do that with the HCl and said you said hydrochloric, that kind of sounds like chlorate. Nope, you'll get the wrong answer. So that one, you need to straight up memorize. The other five, if you just remember that pattern of eight something icky, combine hydrogen with the eight ion, you've got it.